Tamporo has phoned in. He's got a question also related to chemical equilibrium, but it, it's applied more to Le Chatelier. Let's have a hear what he has to say. How are you doing, Tamporo? I'm fine. Okay, good. Now, you've got a question about the contact process, the process in which they make sulfuric acid, where they take sulfur, react it with oxygen, and then they take the sulfur dioxide that's formed, react it with some more oxygen to make sulfur trioxide in the presence of a catalyst. Is that right? Is that right, Simporo? Yeah. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, so now we've got, we're going to look at this equation. I've drawn up the equation already. We've got gases that are reacting with each, other, with each other, and there's some very interesting data that we need to analyze here. So let's just go straight to the equation and have a look at it. We've got 2SO2 plus oxygen. That's going to give us 2SO3. Now, in yes. the question, they tell us that delta H, which is the enthalpy, is yes. minus 192 kilojoules per mole. Okay? Yes. And yes. they then also tell us some other conditions for this reaction. They say the conditions are as follows, that you're going to use a temperature of 430 degrees Celsius and a pressure of, what was the pressure? <laughs> Two times ten, two times ten to the power two. To the power two kilopascals, yeah. eh? Okay. Now let's just get some facts together here about this reaction. First of all, I want you to think about and tell me what does it mean when we say that the delta H is a minus one ninety two. What information is this telling us about the reaction? I think the reaction is exothermic. Is exothermic. So in yeah. our heads, when we see a reaction like this, we can say plus energy over here. Okay? Plus yeah. heat given off. It's liberated. There's energy as a product. Uh, and we need to understand that there's a relationship between thermal energy and temperature. So in this reaction, it's exothermic. You're absolutely right. Energy is one of the things that's produced. Yes. So now the question is, why when they do this in a factory, in a chemical factory, do they take the temperature so high? Because let's see what Le Chatelier's principle says in terms of applying this reaction and applying Le Chatelier. Because this question we need to ask is, why is the temperature so high and why is the pressure what it is? And we're going to try and answer those by looking at Le Chatelier. But can you remember what Le Chatelier says? I don't remember. Okay, let's go over it. Uh, because this is the crucial thing. To answer this question, we need to understand Le Ch Chatelier. Okay? And he says this. He says that for a system, for yeah. a system, if you have a stress, I'm going to, if you have a stress, on the system then the system will oppose the stress yeah. are you with me yes so let's think about this oppose the stress and see how we can work this into our, our thinking if I take a spring okay just an ordinary spring and I push down on it what does the string try and do or the spring try and do it will also push my hand up. It tries to push up to get back yes. to its equilibrium situation. Okay? So if you heat something up, you put water in the bath, okay? Yes. What, what happens? You've created a stress in the room because you've got some hot matter in one area in the bathroom. What does the system do? The whole bathroom, what does it try and do? What happens to the air in the bathroom? If the bathroom will be filled with a lot of air and it will try to explode. No, 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 no. If you've just got hot water and we've got some steam coming up, what happens to the temperature of the, of the air around? Yes, yes. Does it get higher? Oh, you, do you mean the air? The air. Yes. 
Yes, that's right. So we've got a stress in the system. We've got a, a high temperature region. And so to relieve the stress, it's not even in equilibrium at that stage. It gets to a position of equilibrium. Okay, so that the yeah. temperature everywhere in the room becomes the same. You don't have cold patches and hot patches. It relieves the stress. Okay, okay. so let's understand this. The, a system in chemical equilibrium will do exactly the same thing. If there's a stress put on the system, it will try and relieve the stress. So okay. I want you to, to try and go back to this equation and let's see what we do. If okay. we put an increased temperature, mm. that means that we're adding energy. We're adding more energy to the system. The system yeah. will try and work to use up that energy, which means it will favor the reverse reaction. So it will try and absorb all that energy and we'll find that the equilibrium shifts to the left. Okay. Are you with me? So if okay. I increase the amount of energy here, it will push the equilibrium that way. If you heat up a reaction, it will always favor the endothermic reaction. The and the endothermic is the reverse reaction. Correct. Correct. Okay. So now the question is, why do you think people are making the temperature so high? Why don't they want to make the temperature lower? Because at a lower temperature, you would get more product. So it's okay. very important to understand why they're doing this. Because there's something that the chemists, the chemical engineers do that's very important. Okay. Even though they increase the temperature, at this high temperature, they can more easily take away the sulfur trioxide at the high temperature. The, okay. the, they can take it away, and if they take away sulfur trioxide, look what happens. What's the, that's another stress on the system. What do you think the system's going to do if you take some sulfur trioxide away? I think it's... It will try and replace it. Do you okay. see that? So okay. the high temperature favors the, the reverse reaction, but by taking away the sulfur trioxide, we can favor the forward reaction. Okay, okay. so okay. That, that's the important thing. Now, what about the pressure? Let's just take a look carefully at the pressure. When you're looking at pressure, you need to look at the volumes of okay. molecules on the left-hand side and the volumes on the right-hand side. So we've got two moles of sulfur dioxide here plus one mole of oxygen. How many volumes is that in total? You, two pardon, plus pardon. one is three, three volumes. Yes. And on this side, we've only got two volumes. Yes. So when we put high pressure on it, then it tries to force the, the gas into a smaller space. Which one is going to be smaller? Three volumes or two volumes? Uh, two volumes. Okay, so by high pressure, we're actually able to make more SO2, SO3. Yeah. We're able yeah. to shift the equilibrium towards the right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. we need to understand, to answer the question fully, this is a system in chemical equilibrium. If we have okay. a low temperature we will get too much uh, SO3, and we won't be able to contain it all. We don't want to just get SO3. We want to be able to suck some off and use it and use it to make oleum. So that's why we increase the, the, uh, the temperature. The, the reaction's also exothermic. So every time the molecules are reacting, they're pushing up the temperature. And that contributes to the fact that the temperature is 430 degrees. Okay. So we, pressure is inversely proportional to its volume. So, w w no, the temperature isn't proportional to volume, but what we're saying is the higher the temperature is, the more the reaction favors to the, to the reverse reaction. Okay. 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 But what we're saying about pressure, pressure favors the forward reaction. And, of course, the thing that makes this all work really nicely is that we have a catalyst, which is vanadium pe uh, pentoxide. Okay. Yeah. So, thank you for that call. I hope you've understood it. Go back and, and make sure you understand Le Chatelier's principle because okay. you're going to need to apply it when you're deciding is the forward reaction favored or is the reverse reaction favored. In this case, we've looked at conditions which favor the reverse reaction but also favor the forward reaction. And I've tried to give you an industrial reason why that's the case. <laughs>